Hello everyone, it's me Clays, and I just finished watching Shogun Episode 7. So, with Toronaga being forced to rely on one of his family members to bolster his army after the earthquake, he goes over to his brother Saiki, who initially agrees to help him, but who also reminds him of his first ever battle in Mizoguchi, which was 46 years prior to the events of the series. We actually see a flashback to that battle at the very beginning of the episode. On top of that, he seems quite flippant towards both Toronaga and most of the people who are around him, especially considering the Council of Regents has appointed him as the fifth regent, meaning they can now go through with their plan to actually impeach Toronaga and make him suffer the consequences for his actions. Toronaga's son does not appreciate that, however, and he decides to take matters into his own hands when it comes to hunting Saiki down, which he ends up regretting horribly. And on top of that, Blackthorn is kind of put into disbelief when it comes to how Toronaga basically surrenders to Saiki and has to return to Osaka to grovel at the region of, of the Council of Regents' feet. And on top of that, Mariko is attempting to end her own life again when Toronaga prevents her from doing so, especially after Buntaro tries once again to threaten uh, Blackthorn's life to no avail. He wants to take off his head when Toronaga knows he's far too valuable for him to risk Buntaro killing him for the sake of his petty jealousy. Yeah, a lot of the characters are basically put into their harsh, harshest emotional states here, which is a rather fitting considering we only have three episodes left after this. And on top of that, there's an extremely bloody death that happens near the end that could have come across as comical, but actually comes across as more shocking and sudden. It could have been rather funny since the death happens when he, he liter when the person literally slips on a rock, but it instead manages to come across as quite jarring as it, it manages to happen right in the middle of a big ambush where you'd think the ambush would go off successfully and the person involved would end up winning when it turns out it ends up subverting your expectations in a really good way. Especially since Saiki is a devious antagonist who definitely shows his lack of decorum and lack of manners when it comes to every scene that he's in. He is very he doesn't even try to uphold any sense of honor when he's around the other lords and ladies who at least try to keep a cool head around their lord and about, around everyone else. Especially since they know one mistake could lead to death when Saiki doesn't care about that sort of thing at all because... He sits up higher above everyone else, as a member of the Council of Regents. And, since Ishido has taken Saiki's side, he basically has free reign to do whatever he wants with no consequences. Even interrupting Hot Springs visits by the other characters. And even though I'm an anime fan and I usually uh, am used to Hot Springs episodes in those shows, these scenes took on a whole different meaning when, when it came to how intense some of the conversations ended up being. Mainly because the tension throughout is something you can cut with a knife. Whether it's two characters just talking to each other about what they're about to do, or whether it's someone unexpected arriving to harass our, our leads. Heck, Blackthorn even has a bit of a sword fight with Yabushige, but we see how a seasoned samurai would easily be able to disarm someone who doesn't know his way around this kind of sword and how to use it properly. It definitely shows how, even more, how out of his depth Blackthorn is. But can Blackthorn possibly save Tornaga when it seems like nothing is going his way in it right now? We will see. See you next time.